What's up guys, it's Ezekiel13 and welcome back to another Let's Play video of Crash Bandicoot The Rob Cortex and you're doing the moon crawl again Crash. I don't know why you keep doing that. But anyway, last episode I did all the water platinum relics and I also got the earth platinum relics as well so now it's time for the fire platinum relics as well. So, let's go, the gauntlet. I heard it's one of the harder ones to do. So, yeah, I'm gonna have a bit of trouble with this. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, I got a double R for our to it as well. Ooh. Just need to. Oh, just cast the blades and destroy the knight. Okay, just. Oh. Okay, the ham the hammer's blocked the way, that's one of the why it's hard. There's a lot of things that would block the way that, that one piston. Oh, there's a lot of blocks that have the hammer. I didn't know about those. Okay, just it was worth losing the Akaraku, I regret nothing. Okay, just Oh, 15 minutes. 15 seconds, 44 milliseconds, sorry, it's just that, yeah, sometimes I just, just read the seconds of one, the block of milliseconds, it's what it is. But anyway, the time to get the Platinum Relic is 40 seconds, and I think I'm doing really well, so, especially since I got 20 seconds so far, and I'm already, like, at the last quarter of the stage. Okay, just put that. Oh, I'm just going to use the TNT for this, because, yeah, I'll just waste time if I just get that and I don't the TNT. Okay, that, oh, that's the last bit, okay, we can need to do that. There we go, that's the platinum right there. There we go, that's dry, wow. Okay, so, yeah, the next one is Tsunami, which I think is going to be really easy as well. And that's also a 40 second timer, like, 40 seconds for Tsunami. I actually checked on Bandipedia what the times are, so I have to be quick, like, for those levels. Also, Coco's, like, ears look like butterfly wings when they're, like, flapping about, like that, for some reason. Okay, get that. Ooh. Okay. Oh. I want to hold off. Okay. There we go. I got the ability. Yeah. Okay. Scooter. Now I'm going to shoot down the second. I'm just rapidly pressing. <coughs> okay. Oh, and I lost the dark light because I can't go. Okay, just put it that way, that's the best part, especially since I've got a line of division as well. It's like a time trial play. But there's like a three timer creating a time trial playthrough, but yeah. Just need to concentrate I'm on 29 seconds, 30, 31, 32. Okay, I'm at the end of the show, I'm safe. Just get that. There we go. And that's another platinum. Easy. Just easy. Okay, so, um. Next up is Smokey and the Bandicoot. Which is. Yeah. I think it's gonna be really easy as well, since. Yeah. You go, like, pretty fast on the Jeep, and. The maximum time is about, like. For. Speed is a minute, while for the sapphire it's about one minute twenty. And I think I can do a minute. And also I have to come first at that as well. Okay, just get that. Six seconds so far. 
Okay, I have to overtake Entropy. Because, yeah, he's the fastest. Okay. That's... Oh, I missed one. But it's only one second, so I think I can last that. Okay, three seconds I got. Oh, that's another three second timer box, but I missed it. Okay. I think I'm at nearly at the end of the stage, though. So, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of the stage, because, yeah. I think that probably there before the finish line. And that. I think I can. 50 seconds, 12 milliseconds, and that's another platinum. There we go. That was easy as well. Okay, next one is also a really hard one, which is Eskimo Roll. Since, yeah, you're in the board again. But this time there's some enemies that block your way, like Tiny, Entropy, and Dingredile. Surprisingly, no engine in those. But anyway, let's just do Eskimo Roll since. You know, the time relic. Okay. Also, the controls are pretty, like, tight when you're, like, um, going down on a really steep slope. So, the beginning part is probably the hardest bit to do. Okay, so, just get that. Just pass the giant mammoths. Skeleton. Oh, I got the penguin just in time. Okay. Oh, watch out for Dingo Dial at this point. There we go. Okay, eight seconds. Oh, this bit I find tricky. Okay, just. Oh, I think I can make this. There we go. Also, the time for the Platinum is 34 seconds, and I'm already on, like, 13. So I'm gonna get it in no time, because this is basically the end of the stage. Twenty-one seconds, 32. That's definitely a Platinum. Um, by the way, my Gold Relic time is 34, and... 8 milliseconds, so it's really, really tight. But anyway, I got the platinum anyway. Okay, last one, Fahrenheit Frenzy. Okay. The maximum, like, platinum time is 1 minute and 10 seconds. Okay. Um, get those. This bit's pretty tricky, because, yeah, you have to focus on the crash too. So yeah, just get those. Also, you have to avoid those blinking lights as well and the lasers. They're what cause your problem when you're trying to do the the relic at this level. But anyway, I need to. Okay, I passed the helicopter pack segment, okay. Okay, the flames just went out, I just need to get those. Ooh. Okay, I got the Arco Arco, there we go. Ooh, avoid that. Ugh. Okay, this better need the tray, there we go, and the double jump. There we go, I got it. Ooh. Okay, there's the invisibility segment. The first one. Okay. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh. Okay. Just run. Okay. 43 seconds. Pretty near. Okay. Okay, first egg race, x-ray segment, there we go. Stupid piston, just get that. 
the piston didn't take on our clock, it would have gone invincible at this point. Okay. Run into those. I really can't put any more rock at this point. Just need to get the relic. Okay. And that's 1 minute, 2 seconds, 8 milliseconds, and that's a platinum. There we go. That was quicker than expected. That was actually really fun doing it. Okay, and now it's time to go to the third secret level, level 28. And let's see what it's called and let's see what type of level it is. Ooh. Oh, you don't move cool again. It's illegal to not move cool in this game while on a moving platform. Okay. Ice Station Bandicoot. Okay, let's see what it is. I haven't played this one in a while. I think this is probably the most forgetful crush level in this game. Like, forgetful level in this game. Oh, what the helicopter bag? Is that a polar bear on a carpet? Wow. Okay, no wonder this is going to get I haven't... There were like no levels with a polar bear. But, anyway. Oh, I have to go through 40 rings. Okay. 12. 13. I think this is the same model polar bear as the... Polar Bear from Crash Bandicoot Worlds, which was actually going to be this game's original name. And it's going to be like an open world game. But instead we got this. Oh. Uh. Okay. I died. Okay, just have to get past the Polar Bear. Since when did the Polar Bear become Aladdin? I have no idea how, but hey, at least the polar bears in the game, and yeah, so it's an ice level, and you have to do the helicopter pack and do rings while racing the polar bear. Okay, this is basically rings of power, but honestly, I find this one to be a bit better since one, it's rough with Cortex, and it's my favorite crash game. And two, I actually like the atmosphere and the sunset as well. And the music. Okay. Just get these. Okay. Or oh, would the nitro. Oh wait, the blue pocket. Never mind. Okay, there's 20 in each bag and I think. Yeah. There we go, I got them all, and I got the other gem. There we go, that was easy. I have to say that is one of the easier levels I've done in this game. It's really, it's actually a really good stage, but really easy. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode, so yeah. Next episode I'm going to do the air area of the Platinum Relic, and then level 29, which is the fourth secret level. And yeah. Let me just save my progress first. 87! Okay, so... Yeah, that's the end of the episode, and... I realised that the air area has droid board and it's got the monkey mouse, but anyway, that's bad. But anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!